What's up guys, this is Rise, and welcome to another video. For those that grind Team Rocket grunts and Team Rocket stops, you know how rare it may be, or how seldom you may come across a shiny shadow Pokemon. Well, Place Your Wagers, who always provides us with some very spicy submissions, has showcased a triple shadow shiny team, or a triple shiny shadow team. What takes the preference? Probably the shiny over the shadow. With Shadow Tentacruel, Shadow Sableye, and Shadow Flygon making up this team. And I've gotten a handful of Shiny Shadows in my Pokemon Go career. There's only so many, right, that are going to be PvP viable. And all three of these Pokemon are really solid in PvP. As opposed to some of the ones that I've gotten, like uh, Coughing and Ekans aren't the best. Even with their evolutions, right, Kanto Weezing and Arbok, not the best for PvP. But place your wagers with a very cool team, a very rare team that's difficult to obtain. But that's the cool thing about Pokemon Go. We all collect different things, and we are going to see how this team uh, prevails here in the Open Great League. Based off the image, I thought that was Skarmory for a second. I got scared, but no, that's Flygon in the back. And look at how mean this Shiny Shadow Tentacruel looks. Acid Spray gets the shield very nice. And uh, I think you can shield farm all the way down potentially. A five jabs knocks out right at 665 for Venusaur to get to Frenzy Plant. Oh, gonna pivot and gets the Shadow Claw down with Sableye. We know how dangerous Sableye is. Up energy. Gonna throw here the Power Gem before Guzzlord gets off a Dragon Claw. Power Gem connects to some really solid damage. Oh, nice counting by the opponent. I was afraid they were gonna get greedy there. Dragon Claw will definitely. Oh, they crunch. Interesting. Not sure why they would do that. Dragon Claw definitely would have been enough. And now going to come in with Tentacruel. Going to throw the Scald. I like this play. Guarantee the knockout or grab that Protect Shield. You get the knockout. There's only one Pokemon remaining. And it's Skeledurge. Going to get the Acid Spray Bait here. This is going to be really nice. The scary thing is if this uh, Skeledurge over farms. But they don't over farm. And if they Shadow Ball here, Flygon, I think, is going to outpace because they're still going to be three away, but only two away from disarming. They are double debuffed. Is Claw enough here? It is! Thanks to the Acid Spray, the Dragon Claw knocks out and a crazy Game 1 win. Shadow Tentacruel in the perfect lead matchup against the Zumaril, but doesn't have an obvious answer for the counter swap. So forced to come in with Sableye. This is not very comfortable. Probably a Night Slash or an Aerial Ace. We see the Night Slash there. Going to over farm. Already at another. You kind of have to start shielding. Because you want to retain the switch advantage. right? You want to keep your Tentacruel on the Azumarill if possible. Now we see Foul Play coming through. Grabs the shield. Throws on charge attack priority. Now, if they shield again, do we shield? I think we get outpaced, right? Yeah, I think we, we get outpaced by one. So I think we have to let it go. Maybe come in Flygon. Throw the claw immediately. Oh, we're actually going to be willing to take a Night Slash here in exchange for over farming more energy. And this is one of those situations where, like, you're not afraid of the catch on Azu. Because if they catch on Azu, you just hard punish it with Tentacruel. Claw knocks out. Azu will probably come in. And we're going to Scorching Sands first and then dip into Tentacruel. Oh, we're staying in momentarily. Okay. Are we going to, like, bank a move or something? I don't hate that. Bank a move is kind of nice. Now, this is bad normally, but up energy, up a shield. Tentacruel. Might be able to beat this Registeel. The Scald doesn't do quite as much as you need it to. So this actually looks a little bit tough. I think Reggie might have this. Unless the Switch Timer comes up somehow. But I just think there's no way. Especially with that Zap Cannon debuff. Not going to be able to do quite enough to get it into jab down range. Reggie just going to have to fire the Zap. Oh, but wait a sec. How low is the Azu? It's not in Scorching Sands range. Scorching Sands range, is it? Fire off the Scorching Sands. I forget the health of this Azu. It was, I, I want to say it was like around half health. Or am I tripping? Yeah. A little less than half. 
GG, close one. B Tomato is the next opponent. Um, okay, interesting matchup. Both trainers Pokemon are gonna resist the fast attacks of the opposing Pokemon. They do build up the Shadow Ball, gonna call the bait here. Calling it's not the Shadow. Oh, it is the Shadow Ball, but Tentacruel hangs on. Even as a Shadow, still has a little bit of bulk, able to eat the Shadow Ball, get off the Scald, get that shield advantage. And it's gonna let it go down, because now you come in Sableye, and you put your opponent in a weird spot, where they have to like let themselves get farmed down, basically. I think you gotta respect another Shadow Ball here. Even if they bait you, there's really no point in them baiting at this point. Um, big farm down for Sableye. Oh man, this is perfect. All this energy on Sableye, in comes Skarmory, and Flygon gets to avoid the Skarmory. This is amazing. Big over farm. I think Skarmory should be able to, to take this, but barely. Oh. Not enough to uh, get to a move. Gonna grab the final shield here, most likely, from the Feraligator, and then you probably pivot into the Flygon. And I think a Scorching Sands here from a Shadow Flygon, man, is gonna be just about enough. We'll probably... Oh, they go for Ice Beam. A little bit overkill, in my opinion. But the Scorching Sands here is gonna do so much damage. Bang! Oh, it does knock out. Wow. Shadow on Shadow action. Yeah, I mean, Flygon is very frail, right? So I think Hydro Cannon is what you want to go for there if you're the Feraligator. They were correct, right? Ice Beam would be double super effective there, but with, with still a shield to hide behind, I think you're uh, you're better off just going straight Hydro Cannon there. Um, okay, Gligar. Going to respect the potential dig here, but it is the Aerial Ace bait. Wow, it's going to be such a change, right? Starting tomorrow, not going to see Gligar anymore. For the most part. I mean, some some people will probably not get the memo and still be still be running it. Um Shields another Aerial Ace. I think Gligar might hang on to this foul play. It's gonna be close. Foul play. Oh, it barely it barely hung on. But they actually swapped out. I think they banked it banked a move. Foul play. Puts Charger Bug really low. I think you gotta come in with Flygon, right? Oh, we go for the show and go. The peekaboo. Shows the Tentacruel. Catches the triple resisted discharge on Flygon. What a catch. And now, uh, gonna have to eat an Excess. That's gonna hurt. But that's all right. What a beautiful catch there from Place Your Wagers. Put that on Sports Center top 10. In comes Machamp, but Machamp is not going to appreciate this Scorching Sands. It's going to do so much. Oh my gosh, it just knocks out. Holy cow. <laughs> what the heck, dude? What the heck? And the opponent had to commit to like that one wing attack down to uh, try and dig the uh, Tentacruel. We save swap Sableye, so you would think this is really bad, right, for Sableye since you're a uh, Dark type, as is a fairy type. However, the Shadow Claw damage really adds up. This power gem chips away. As he's throwing on bad timing there, actually gonna let this go. And it's just an ice beam. The awkward thing here is like, I think as you might hang on. I don't I think you would almost yeah, so gonna undercharge. And I was gonna say you'd almost rather have them shield, which they do. So this is perfect. Now you get a big farm with Tentacruel. Don't have to respect anything here. You completely wall off the Azu. Ice Beam does nothing. Big Poison Jab down. You're up a shield. You're up energy. This is looking really good. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Annihilate has got to respect this. Otherwise, it's going to be super low. Scald. Oh! Okay. Took it a little bit better than I thought. And now we, now we get to Acid Spray the uh, Lickitung. And then do we just swap immediately? Now with the debuff, you just go straight Scorching Sands, I believe. And it's going to do so much damage, dude. The damage from Shadow Flygon's Scorching Sands is really shocking. It does so much. Okay, we get the shield. And we get the debuff. You don't even need to shield at this point. Yeah, you can afford to let this go. You, you take this move. Scorching Sands, I think, knocks out. Remember, Lickitung is still double debuffed from that Acid Spray. 
Scorching Sands coming through, knocks out the Lickitung. Annihilate does get the counter down, but I don't think they have enough energy to bait and then Shadow Ball. So, oh my gosh, they almost got the win con of the boost and then the Night Slash. Holy cow, that was close. I'm not sure how much energy that uh, Annihilate had. I wonder if, if it's possible that they just like gave up. Anyway, Tentacruel into Vigoroth. We just recently made a video, Vigoroth's Last Dance, that got a lot of uh, <laughs> that got a lot of uh, love in the comments. That was a funny one. Um, oh, beautiful catch! Assuming this is a body slam, this is really good. Double resisted. Once again, we see Sableye luring out Azumarill and Placer Wagers, once again, might just be content letting Sableye go here, knowing that you can farm down with Tentacruel. Are we going to see that play out again? Yeah, doesn't care. Says Sableye, you did your job. Takes the play rough. As is a little bit healthier this time, so uh, Tentacruel will take a little bit more damage from the bubbles. And then assuming this is a play rough, we'll put it relatively low. But you can definitely take it. Has all this energy. Gonna go for the Scald here. I like this play because you have so much energy. Like, letting them call Acid Spray could be a potential lose con. Um, and now you just outpace. So the opponent's gonna have to try and make a catch to give themselves a chance. Calls the Stone Edge bait like an absolute savage. Scorching Sands coming through. I keep saying it, but oh, this would do so much damage. That looks like a charge attack priority. And I think you've pretty much got this one in the bag at this point. Because now you can just outpace. And even if they catch, like it doesn't even matter at this point. It don't even matter at this point. Goes for the claw. I think tried to wait a turn there as well to avoid the catch on the Vigoroth that still exists. One mud shot is all you need. GG. Was that trainer named Drew Baca? Like Chewbacca? That's kind of funny. Uh, tough lead. So gonna safe swap Sableye. What Sableye is known for. Safe swapping. Gonna shield the Aqua Tail. Interesting. I mean, Shadow on Shadow it definitely would hurt, but it, it kind of feels bad to shield a move that's so quick to get to. Only four mud shots. And now we're going to see another move come through. This is going to connect. In comes Talon. Luckily, you get to a move before going down. That's really nice here. And you get the final shield. And this could set up like a, a Flygon sweep. Quagsire, Talon Flame. Maybe it's like another Flying type in the back. If it's Skarmory, that could be really bad. But you're going to get off this Scald here. In comes Quag. Gonna go for the catch. Doesn't get it. Assuming, though, it's Aqua Tail Stone Edge. You're only threatened by the Aqua Tail. Oh, they, they got greedy. They got so greedy. I think the opponent didn't realize that it's only four mud shots as well for Flygon to get to Dragon Claw. And they did too many... Um, fast attacks they did for themselves moonblast knocks out but tentacruel is gonna reach the skull it's not even in grass knot range and i think with a little bit of luck from a misplay from the opponent place your wager is able to get that win there we see a regular quagsire here straight into the next matchup i'm assuming we led tentacruel into it yeah this is perfect though because our team is a little bit soft to Skarmory, so Sableye is like our best answer. This is where we want to see the Skarm. And going to get to a second foul play before going down. The awkward thing is we can't really farm the Skarm. So if they shield this, which they do, a little awkward, that's for sure. Forced to come in Flygon because <laughs> you can't Poison Jab down. So Flygon's going to over farm here, I presume. And, uh, oh, yikes. Maybe he lost track. I lost track myself. I actually didn't think they were there yet. Brave, oh, that could be a mistake. 
brave. Maybe they would have gotten the mud shot down anyway. But now you've got all this energy. Quag comes in. Uh-oh. I think Quag got denied there unless that was uh, CMP. Oh my gosh. Quag's got a shield. Do you catch the Aqua Tail like a savage? No, you just get there. And this is a little bit unfortunate because I think if the Quag didn't get denied upon entry, they would have got there first. So a little bit unfortunate for the opponent. Oh no, dude. Poor Chargebug. Poor Chargebug. Scorching Sands. Bang. Goes for the catch. Did he get the catch? Or is this discharge? Oh my gosh. He got the catch. Unbelievable. I feel a little bit bad for the opponent here because I think they lagged a turn with the Quag. And this could have been a very different game if the Quag didn't uh, lag a turn. So who knows? Maybe if the Quag didn't lag a turn, Placer Waiters would have like caught the Aqua Tail anyway and it would have been the same thing. But I uh, feel a little bad for the opponent there. What's with all these Quags? All right. Shadow Sableye lures out Mandibuzz. This is one nice thing about the Shadow Sableye. Um, and we go Power Gem here. Power Gem is going to dish out super effective damage. <laughs> Sorry, I just like repeated myself there. I got a text message and it distracted me for a second. My fault. Stay focused, Rise. Stay locked in. Second Power Gem. This will threaten to knock out the Mandibuzz. Bang. Sableye flipping the zero shield against Mandibuzz. And now you get to align the Flygon with the uh, Charger Bug. Unfortunately, Tentacruel doesn't really have anywhere to go. So you might have to swap Tentacruel in here. Yeah, you got to use Tentacruel somewhere, right? So I guess you hope that they don't have Mud Bomb. If they don't have Mud Bomb... Tentacruel can actually withstand the damage coming at it from this uh, from this quag, but this opponent's not messing around. They're just throwing instantly. Gonna get off this dragon claw here. If they shield, maybe you swap instantly for the catch. Okay, they don't fall for it. Oh, this is a little bit scary now. This is a little bit scary now. But you do get to the skull before going down. And I think this could set up a really beautiful mud shot down. Where maybe you come out with a move. Oh, this is nasty. x will do a lot. But it won't quite knock out. Flygon. Going to come out with the dragon claw. And this works to perfection. Winning the charge attack party. Of course, Flygon with a higher attack than the Quagsire. Quagsire a bulkier Pokemon. And that is a G to the G. Whoa, Gallade, interesting. Oh, it's Confusion Gallade. Get out of there. If it was Psycho Cut, yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. But Confusion, got to swap out. And um, Foul Play going to connect onto the Golbat. Poison Fang called. Resisted damage. Foul play coming through. Going to threaten to knock out the Golbat here. So able to get the switch advantage. In comes Sandslash. Foul play. Maybe we'll see a shield. If Sandslash gets a full mud shot down here, this could be a little bit awkward. Assuming it's running like Night Slash Scorching Sands. Scorching Sands energy is going to be a little bit dangerous for this back line. Does oh Flygon so spammy gets off the claw. Sand Slash can withstand this though. Now the question is, do you start using your protect shields here with the Flygon? Or do you save them for the Tentacruel? They're gonna see this. Oh! I don't think that's the play trainer. Well, if they're running Night Slash Rock Tomb, I guess, like. Well, I think he's still Night Slash. What are we doing, trainer? Why are we rock tombing a ground type? Um, got a shield. Because you have, like, no fast attack pressure with Flygon here. I love the Acid Spray. Because they almost have to shield, I think, at this point. And then two jabs knocks out. Beautiful. Not quite going to... Oh, it is going to get there before getting Mud Shot down. Beautiful. 
And Squidward Tentacruel gets the win. Very nice. Playing against some person. I think this might be the last battle of the video. The perfect lead. In comes the Sidueye. Good matchup for Sableye. I wonder if that was intentional by Place Your Wagers to do a few jabs first, knowing that the Razor Leafs do so much. I think it was just a delayed reaction, but honestly, it was actually, it worked out really well. Are they going to shield the Power Gem? Sableye. Boom! Takes out two entire Pokemon <laughs> and gets the win. They were really weak to Tentacruel, and that game was so fast. We have one more. Umbreon making an appearance. Um, are they running Psychic? No, just foul play. Gonna go for the Scald here. Noticing throwing after one jab, of course, for proper timing. Scald connects. Umbreon gonna fire off another attack here. So spammy. But it looks like Squidward is gonna win the Zero Shield scenario. This is very impressive. Winning the Zeros against Umbreon, such a bulky, strong Pokemon. Looking to immediately pivot. I actually really like that. Oh my gosh. Shadow Beedra. What the heck? I actually love that pivot. Because if Umbreon is the lead, you're kind of just making the risk that that's going to be their best Sableye answer. And that ended up being the case. So that's actually really nice. Sableye going to do pretty well here against Beedrill. Resisting the poison jabs. And now you can probably just let it go. Let it go, mud shot down, and then Flygon up a shield. Should be chilling. Oh, they do get to the Excisor though, so a little bit awkward now because I don't think Scorching Sands will one shot. So this is a little bit weird now. I wonder if you have to make the catch. I wonder if you have to make the catch now. Oh, that does so much though. Oh, they don't get the counter down, though. The jabs do too much. If you're wondering why the opponent didn't throw, they were making the correct play, right? They had to commit to the farm down so they could shadow ball the, um, the fly gone. So that was the right play from the opponent. And a nice recognition from place your wagers to swap, get those poison jabs in, and uh, G to the G. So really cool team and an extremely rare team. Triple shiny shadows. You don't see that too often. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like comment down below. All comments are appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and join channel memberships if you like supporting the channel. All that said, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.